There's a buck right out there just looking at me. Come up over this ridge and I'm just standing here. I try to get my other camera out and get a better picture of him. I thought I'd seen him down that ravine. Sure enough. Here he come. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us at Your Guide to Outside. We've been talking about drying antelope tags in Wyoming. And uh, this year, there's just not a lot of choices uh, if you don't have any points in that state. If you have one point, it uh, opens up 10, 11 areas that you could draw with one point. But this year, there's only like two areas that you can draw with zero points. And you may not want to hunt those areas. I'm thinking about maybe not even putting in for those two areas and maybe just trying to look out and draw a, uh, another tag in an area where we may have one point or so. Some of those areas you only have about 13-14% chance of drawing that with zero tags, but it's still still a chance. So I just want to go over a few uh, key dates in Wyoming this year and hang out to the end of it. We're going to give you an option of hunting antelope this year that you may not have thought about. So let's get into it. Hey, before we get started, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and check down in the link for a video series we've been doing that covers the um, resources that we use to get antelope tags and uh, how we use those individually um, to get those tags to hunt in Wyoming. Um, also in the comments look for our 2020 antelope hunt that uh, we've got out there the video and also for an upcoming video that uh, covers the 2022 hunt that I went on. So look for those all that down in the comments and uh, let's get started. All right so the deadline for uh, applying for tags for antelope in Wyoming is May 31st. So it opens up January 3rd and May 31st is the last day that you can put in for the draw uh, of antelope in Wyoming. Um, and those results come out about June 15th. So if you don't draw anything in the initial draw, they have a leftover draw. So you can make sure you keep track of that. Uh, that starts uh, June 19th to the 23rd. So the results will come out June 15th from the initial draw. And then you, there'll be a list of uh, tags that are available still. And you'll be able to put in for one of those hunts uh, for the leftover tag draw. So the results for the leftover tag draw is June, I'm sorry, is July the 6th. And any tags that are left over after that second draw remaining licenses are just given out and that opens up uh, July 12th and it's first come first serve. So you can go online and try to get those tags um, or call in. You might be able to get them then. The next key date that you want to remember in Wyoming is uh, for preference points. Like I mentioned in some of the other videos, if you can buy one point then uh, that'll open a lot of other areas, open up uh, opportunity for you to hunt in Wyoming. So the the date to open uh, the date to buy preference points is July 3rd through October 31st. So you can go in there and buy a preference point for antelope for next year. I think they're about $31. Um, if you apply in the initial draw and get your first choice, you cannot apply for a preference point. So the only way you can get a preference point. Uh, bought that year is if you do not get drawn in the initial draw. Okay, so apply in the initial draw between January and May 31st. Uh, the results come out the 15th. Check those. If you didn't get drawn, then the 19th through the 22nd is the leftover tag draw. Get in on that. If you get drawn on the leftover tag draw, that does not go against your points. And you're still able to remain. Uh, you're still able um, to buy a preference point in July. Okay, and then the remaining licenses. That's another opportunity. Let's say you draw a tag. Um, you can still pick up. Um, there's usually a lot of doe tags left over. Make sure you check on the type of tag that you're getting, though. You're going to want to get a one um, for any antelope or a if it's a six you better check that um, for the doe tag one and six are for 
public ground. Two and seven are for private property. There's going to be a lot of private property tags left. Um, so you got to make sure you check what kind of tag you got. For antelope, um, that's the difference between the tag numbers. Um, so just keep track. Make sure you understand what the tag uh, differences are before you go into that, especially the remaining licenses. Uh, there's going to be a lot of public, grant, uh, public land tags left over. So keep track of those dates. Don't give up if you don't get your first choice or you don't get in on that first draw. There's still a couple of other opportunities to get out there. And let's say you just don't even get a draw um, and you come to find out um, you're not in June 15th, you don't get a tag, July 6th. Um, Wyoming's still wide open. You could just go out there. You don't even have to hunt. Uh, there's antelope all over the place. Just go camping. There's a lot of BLM land you can camp on and hike around, watch the antelope, uh, get some photo shots of them if you can't get a shot at them with a rifle. So there's some different choices for you. Okay, so, and then here's an here's a, uh, opportunity you may not be aware of or maybe you just never thought about there because the odds seem terrible. Um, New Mexico um, antelope season um, is an opportunity to get down there too. So in New Mexico, a lot of people don't apply there because you only have a 6% chance of drawing. They have a straight random draw. Uh, the majority of the tags go to residents and only 6% of the tags will go to non-residents. So you only have a 6% chance of drawing a tag in New Mexico, but it's still a chance, right? The thing about New Mexico is they only have like a four-day season. So you're pretty well locked into a time you have to go. Where Wyoming, if uh, the weather's bad, their season lasts usually the whole month of October for rifle. And uh, so if, you know, weather turns bad and you're able to slide your hunt, uh, then there's an opportunity to do that in Wyoming. Um, but the deadline for applications is March the 22nd in New Mexico. And their odds come out, or their results come out, April 26th. So if uh, you want, you can apply to New Mexico early. If you don't get drawn there, apply to Wyoming. There's another chance there. So if, now let me break it down another way. So the, the way the Wyoming tag system works, 80% of the tags go to the residents. 20% go to the non-residents. Of those 20%, 80% 60% goes into a regular draw, 40% 40 goes into what they call a special draw, which is basically people who are willing to pay twice as much money for a tag as the regular draw people. So you got 60% of your regular draw, and within that 60% of your regular draw, 75% of that is preference points, where they just say whoever has the most points will get a ticket and we'll start giving them away. And we get down here to the twos and ones and zeros, they may not get any tags. And then 25% of that 60% goes into a random draw. So everybody's name that didn't draw one goes into a hat, just like New Mexico, and they drag it out of there, and they just, whoever gets picked, they get the tag. Okay? So let's say there's 100 tags in Wyoming, 20 of those tags go to the non-residents. Out of those 20, 12 of them would go to the regular draw. Okay, Out of that 12, 25% of them would go into the random draw, which is three tags. So you have a 3% chance of randomly drawing a tag in Wyoming. Where in New Mexico, you would have a 6% chance of randomly drawing a tag so why not? It's going to cost you, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 bucks for application fees um, just to apply down there. You're going to have to come up with all the money up front for tags and licenses, but if you don't draw, they'll refund your money. Okay. Same thing with Wyoming. You have to put up all your money up front, but if they don't, uh, if you don't draw, they'll give it back to you. So if you really want to go antelope hunting this year, you just don't think, yeah, I don't have that big a chance because I really don't want to go hunt the areas that are available with zero points. 
and you want to just put in for some areas that you really want to hunt but you probably won't draw and then plan on picking up a preference point uh, that year and apply to New Mexico. See if you can get a tag and if you can't then apply to, to Wyoming and try, it, try your chances there. There's tons of uh, public property in New Mexico. Um, you won't have a problem, you won't have near the problem finding a place you can walk in and hunt like you do in Wyoming. Uh, some of those areas that up there are, are hard to access. They have huge uh, state properties. I think I looked on uh, Go Hunt and there was five or six um, areas that had a 3% or better chance um, of drawing um, a hunt this year. So that's another option uh, for you. So um, look into that too. So, hey, I hope this was helpful. Give you some options so you weren't quite um, so despaired about your chances of drawing in Wyoming. There are some other options there. So I just hope this helped you. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and share share this with somebody who, uh, you know, think may be interested in going antelope hunting with you. So make sure you check those out. And in the meantime, get out there and do something.